Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the perfect effect perfect combiner upgrader kit for Volcanicus PC21 and PC23 so I could have made just a single review for each parts but really these these two sets goes together you know people that will buy one will most likely buy the other one to go with it you know <laughs> So yeah, PC21 and 23, I believe PC22 was just a set of hand and feet for Abominus, which were purple, I guess, but yeah. These two sets are the uh, hands and feet upgrade, and a couple of add-ons for Volcanicus. So yeah, uh, let's start out with 21, so the feet and the hands. In the back we've got a couple of screenshots. Uh, a screenshot that I'm I was really afraid because if you can see here uh, the feet are black and red and I really didn't like those a lot but yeah they they, they change it the last minute and they look really freaking nice so the feet transform into giant Gatling guns and the hands splits to make pistols uh, we've already seen this it's pretty much remolds of old hand and feet that we've seen before so let's open them up there is no instruction that's one thing that it bothers me a little bit but yeah all right now let's open this up also and garbage so we've got feet right here and we've got hands let's set this aside let's move the camera a little bit lower so we can see something focus yeah so yeah the hands are really nice uh, they have like spikes right here and yeah they, they are the normal hands we are used to see with the perfect effect so all the fingers are articulated on swivels and uh, the thumb is on a ball joint that does have a articulation here we do have a wrist swivel right here and we've got some knuckles the knuckles are really nice but i would have really really loved if they could have made the knuckle golden that would have made the the hands so much better now the hands are just black it's okay but i really will uh, would have loved golden knuckles so you can transform them in the uh, pistol mode it's uh okay a mode i guess so you just split this apart like so Take the thumb, straighten it up, flip it all the way around, and close these fingers down, and uh, move this handle down, and just straighten everything up. So now you have a gun, five millimeter, five millimeter peg. So yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's not the best thing, but it works. For storage and robot mode, it works. I'm just gonna put it back into hand mode. Flip this open. So yeah, cool hand. The other one is exactly the same, just on the opposite side. So no need to show them off. And the feet, like I said, the feet in the box showed like just smaller feet and with red toes. That's it. I'm really happy that the feet are golden. So that's why I was mentioning the hand should have had golden knuckles just to make you know standing out but feet are really nice they are really solid really heavy hefty underneath we've got some metallic um, gatling guns uh, we do have a articulation right here it's ratchety uh, the feet does transform so you just have to split them up and the connection is really good i, I got i own a bunch of others Perfect effect, uh, perfect effect hand and feet for my combiners for uh, Bruticus, uh, Superion, Venusaur, and the feet are eh, not that good, but this one feels really nice. So you just flip these open, close this up, and uh, you've got a handle right here. So yeah, pretty good, uh, cool looking gun, nice paint job, uh, the metallic. Uh, of the Gatling, the golden of the toes, and the black right here looks really nice. 
and yeah same thing for your for your feet just close it in close this up you get one extra handle right here and one extra handle right here but you also have the same one for this one underneath like this so you can hold it like like this or just peg it on the side somewhere so there's a lot of uh, playability so let's just close this up close this up close this up close this open this up and can we open this no doesn't work no it looked like it's just another piece to cover up the uh the joint right here so let's plug them in and yeah like i said they hold pretty good just this part right here that kind of doesn't want to tab in but yeah feet looks really damn cool now um okay and get let's try on on slag just for the fun of it because slag is with the original feet uh that comes with it here's a comparison so yeah tiny difference you know <laughs> it's not even it's not even close to but yeah let's pick it in and the feet is really okay my I exaggerated my uh, shaking but it feels really heavy it, it feels really nice in it compared to the other ones that barely had hold but yeah just barely holds but this one right here holds really nice Let's just pick it in All right so we got one feet in but yeah let's put this aside and same thing for the hands uh they plug into the same hole so yeah i'm not gonna use lag for a a hand more likely as a uh, leg but yeah we'll see that later on and yeah let's move those aside now and Let's check out PC23. Now this is the part that I've been waiting for. I know there's a um, Dreamwave production. I don't remember the whole name, but they've made their own. And it looks quite good. I've seen a couple of videos and it looks nice, but I think I prefer this one. Uh, in the back of the box, we do have all the accessories, swords, crouch, chest, legs, crotch thighs and we got some image of the dinobots with everything on so yeah basically we have to replace thighs and the forearms of grimlock so let's put this aside let's open this up so here we have the uh shield thing uh we got thighs that they need to be replaced so we've got these two pieces that will snap in together and there is a bag of uh, screws that we uh, use, that we'll use so let's put this one so just gonna put it back we've got this piece right here i believe it's a crotch plate for somebody not sure who yet we've got another thigh right here we've got the big heel thing <laughs> so yeah this is a big part that will cover uh the backpack and the chest of bruticus uh grimlock in volcanicus mode in the back we do have a handle so we can use it as a shield in robot mode so it's kind of cool and uh, if i remember correctly we can peg this on his backpack not too sure where how We'll have to check it out more in the instructions but yeah this pegs in his backpack and you can mount cannons on it so i'll come back to this in a bit we've got legs replacement forearms for grimlock and yeah these, oops i just dropped it so yeah these again will need to be screwed in but yeah these basically replace these legs so I guess this is gonna be like this so yeah bigger toes bigger legs and a different connector so let's plug it back in 
So yeah, replacement parts. Let's set this aside. And now let's check out some other pieces. And let's throw this away. These are the same words. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a crotch plate. Yeah. Alright. Fine. We've got a crotch plate that is uh, really nice. Uh, the cockpit, this doubles as a cockpit for uh, Titan's Return Headmasters. I don't have one right now, I'm gonna take one soon. But these can also pick in, let's say here, and we can add uh, machine guns from uh, these, I guess, pick on each side. So, yeah, more, um, you know, <laughs> more weapons for your Dinobots. Woo! Sorry. Hot camera. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be looking really nice. Open this up. Uh, we do have this part right here. It opens up. It's kind of weird. The carpet does open. There's some nice metallic inside. Uh, we've got some metallic paint here, gold here, red here. So let's move him aside. This looks really nice. Let's put him back. And the weapons are really damn cool. So we've got an axe. A really cool looking axe. Uh, don't know who's I'm gonna hand in. <laughs> but yeah, cool look looking axe. A nice black finish with a translucent orange blade. We've got a bigger blade, again, a black finish with a yellow orange blade, again, a smaller one, this one is uh, more straightened up, no dense, but yeah, still looks really good. We've got another one right here, and they're all different, they, do, they look the same, but they're all different, and we've got the sort of sword breaker right here. So some believe some say it's a sword. I believe it's a sword breaker. For those knowing what a sword breaker is, it's just a big clump of metal that is shaped like a sword, but it doesn't cut at all. It's just made to hit swords and break stuff. <laughs> so yeah, whatever. Uh, we can combine them, and it's really freaking nice. So we get these two blades here, peg in like this. They don't hold too much, but they're supposed to peg in like this. And come to the uh, hacks, and there is a notch. It's kind of hard to see, but oh uh, yeah, it's all black. But there's a T-shaped notch that you need to slide this in. Like so. And then you slide the black one in again. Like so. And you make it so that it combines like this. So now it's pretty much done. And inside right here, there's a hole. There's two holes, and this is where these swords go in. So first off, we just plug them in like this, and these two just combine inside like this. And now you have one big ass sword for Volcanicus. And it looks really freaking cool. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna prepare everything for, um, Putting the new thighs and the new new thighs and new legs, and I'll come back with the. Uh, oh wait, I can show the instruction. The screws. So yeah, we've got a bag of screws, a bunch of them because we need those, and the instructions. Instructions looks okay, pretty good. I haven't uh, started assembling it, but yeah, we'll take a look real quick. And yeah, step 19, so step one right here. So like they said, you remove the screws, remove the uh, arms, put the new ones in, keep some parts, remove some other parts. So, yeah. So here uh, shows how they use the shield on Grimlock. On the other side. Pretty much the same thing this is more assembly so oh, okay this is the new, new crouch crotch plate goes to the shield so the new crotch right right here 
the new crotch goes in here like so does it it's supposed to hold yeah new crotch goes like this and then you take the shield and the shield goes or plugs in these squares onto this square like so so now he has a big backpack and now if you want you can take the giant feet just move everything away so you can see something move these like this move these like this all right close this close this and now we can pick uh machine guns open the bag right here and plug it in like so same thing on the other side Take it in, and now Grimlock has huge machine guns. <laughs> Oops. Now he doesn't have the uh, new feet in, so he does have trouble standing, but yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna clean up the table and uh, work on the feet and thighs and come back afterward all right so i got grimlock in robot mode just to uh, help with the trans well the uh disassembly i'll got the legs the thighs and i'm gonna start with uh one arm so yeah we've got to remove uh three screws i think yeah three screws one here one here and one inside of here wow maybe it's on your side yeah, it says there's three screws, but I only see one, but yeah, whatever, I'll check. So, unlock, uh, un screw this one. I'm gonna use a couple of knife and try and pry it open. Oh, well, all right. So we've got spring legs. This one. So I just removed it. So we got one leg right here. Uh, try not to lose the pieces. We've got <laughs> fist. So the fist needs to. Uh, you need to keep the fist. All the rest, uh, pretty much garbage. And mine by prying it open, I think I broke it, but yeah, I just stressed it. So this is my original piece and I kind of stressed it. Like, yeah, but uh, I believe it's glued in. They show on the instruction that it's a, uh, a screw, but it's not a screw, not at all. So I believe we'll break the figure just by trying to open it up. All right, and next up we want to bring the original new leg you want to take it open and place the fist in i guess i don't know how so yeah the hedge need to be facing like this next you want to plug this in like so oh that's that's really freaking tight so when you plug it in it goes like this next up you bring the other arm just before closing put the fist in make sure it's on the right side all right so now i'm gonna use the screw and plug everything in Yoink. Do we need to use the same screws or the new ones? Yeah, still the same screws. Are right, they all the same? Yeah. All right. All the same screws. Put it in. Put it in. Mm. And all right, we've got one fist on. So we can flip the fist but well, like this oh it clips in and just the difference with the other one <laughs> it's 
until, yeah, kind of different. Yep, yep. And before moving, doing the other arm, I'm gonna do the one tie just so that you can see it also. So unplug this. And again, there's two screws to remove. Man, my hand hurts so much. <laughs> All right, here's the leg. Here's part of the tie. Here's the other one. So like this, remove the leg, keep this. This is the original tie, so remove the screw. We don't need this anymore. And the instruction tells us to keep this tiny part here. This is the uh, ratchety connector part. So just throw these, the original ones aside. Don't need those anymore. And just re just keep the that part right here. Now that part right here will go, um, I guess, uh, the other one here, this one. And it will go somewhere like this. I think it's here. Oops. Yeah, like this. Just plug it in like this. Next up, you want to bring the leg in. So, the hold this goes straight. Yeah. So, the uh, uh, peg right here, which kind of connector right here, this will go in front. So, this goes like this. Oh, crap. It's really tight, also. Voila. And you already have the ratchet. Oops. Or just like that. <laughs> so bring this back. Put this back all the way again. All right. Let's not ratchet it this time. So plug it in. Come to the back. Plug the thigh in. Voila. And some more black screws. Come on. All right. So let's screw in everything back in. It's tight enough. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. So remaining with the let's plug everything back in. So we got the leg exposed now. So we just have a mushroom peg. So we just slide it in. It's really tight, but there we go. So now we have a longer leg. <laughs> yeah. So now we have new ties, new arm. And the leg just has a new ratchet now. It goes like this and it's really freaking tight. So let's move this, let's move this. So I'm gonna assemble the other side and the other arm and I'm not gonna do it on the hammer house, it's, it's the exact same thing, so I'm just gonna cut it, cut it and come back. And here we have uh, Grimlock with uh, with both uh, add-ons added. We got both thighs and both arms, and he looks really freaking nice. He's more uh, bulky, you know, he, he looks much better like this than he used to. This is more a, of a Grimlock that we're used to. <laughs> now uh, one weird thing is that uh, doing the other leg it didn't snap off it was just two basic pegs inside of it uh, of the arms and they weren't glued together but the other one clearly was uh, some somehow glued or you know this peg right here just snapped off there were you know it's weird but yeah just heads up I don't mind breaking it because you know mine's gonna be with the uh, combiner the perfect effect combiner add-on on it so yeah so i'm gonna just transform him real quick off camera in dyno mode just to look how it looks well just to see how it looks with the add-ons and here we have grimlock in dinobot mode with all of the upgrades so we've got the legs uh, the thigh doesn't look too much but yeah the tail is a little bit a little bit longer not by much but the legs does look much better and I've also given him the big uh, shield on the back and the big cannons so yeah uh, other comparison here's with the other Autobots with all of the weapons given to him so we've got slag uh, 
I couldn't fit any weapon on a uh, swoop, so eh, don't care. And we got Snarl. And we move a little bit, so Snarl has also a big machine gun on the side. And Sludge has also the handguns on it. So yeah, really nice crew. <laughs> like I said, I couldn't find any weapons that fit with swoop, but yeah. All that is left that I'm kind of bothered is the sword. There's no really storage in Dinobot mode for the sword. So I just gave the sword to Slash because why not? Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't hold it. Uh, he should have, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Slash, go get him. Alright, so I'm gonna transform them in the Volcanicus mode now. So let's move everyone. Oink, swoop also. And if you notice, my swoop only has one leg because I broke the other one. Yeah, I'm a thorn, so I might buy a new one or yeah, whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna transform now into the Volcanicus mode and show how the uh, robot. Uh, the parts goes. Just before transformation, I just want to show off the slag with the uh, crotch plate, and the crotch plate can open up. I only forgot to show it, but yeah, we can put a uh, Titan head headmaster in it. So I just took one that was lying on my desk and just put him in seat position and put it in here, and then we can close if he doesn't fall on the side. Yeah, so the Titan master. The headmaster can fit in perfectly. So it's kind of cool, but yeah. Focus. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Cool gimmick. So, yeah, transformation now. I know I said I would uh, go to transformation, but just real quick, I just want to show off the uh, robot modes with a bunch of weapons. So we got Gatling guns. Here we got big shields, swords, 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 and handguns on swoops. So, yeah, just wanted to show it off how it looks in robot mode because they look pretty damn awesome. <laughs> and we got the um, crotch plate right here that doesn't go anywhere for now, but this has a peg, so I guess we can put it in a on a backpack. Just give him like like so. Big backpack, but yeah, whatever. Uh, uh. And he's out of frame now. So, yeah, just wanted to show it off. So, yeah, now we'll go to transformation into Volcanicus. All right, so I've readied out of all of the robots into limb mode. So there's nothing uh, specific to it except for Grimlock. So I just left it in that position for now. But all the other ones, you just put them into normal limb mode so yeah first off what you'll need is you'll need one pair of hands from the original combiners so don't throw these away you're gonna need them so uh, just uh one will have to put the thumb up while the other one has a thumb down the fingers are closed so close the fingers and uh just make it sort of the opposite one like so so these are going to be needed for transformation in a few minutes. So let's put this aside. So we've got one leg. I'm going to be using slag as one leg. Plug it in. It feels real tight. Move it there. Sludge is going to be my other leg. Oops, I keep bumping into the camera. So sludge, plug it in. It's real solid. Move it back. Swoop is going to be my... Uh, well, his left arm, so nope, you didn't. So, left arm, left hand, and hold this. It's really freaking tight, but I like it like this. So, one hand, done. Just move this here, and a slag is a uh, snarl. It's gonna be my other arm, so. Just move this here, plug it in. It's really freaking tight, but it works. So yeah, we've got another hand right here. So let's move the aside. This sword is gonna come up later. And now we need to 
crotch blade and the chest shield. Chest shield, well, the backpack of the other one. First off, we just split these parts off. And they are really freaking tight. All right, split them apart. And right here, there's a connector. So we just plug it in. Like, oh, oh it's really freaking tight, wow. All right, so plugs in like this. It's really freaking tight though. Maybe the paint job just made it more tighter. All right, so yeah, like this. These two connectors on each side is gonna plug right here. But first, uh, let's do the legs. So the legs goes like this in the back, like this in the back. And these two big square gonna be pegged in these like here there's a it goes like this two big square and two tabs the big square goes in the back it uh, goes on top because the, the big square is gonna plug in right here so move this aside plug it in move the crotch down so move this in and it's really weird to plug I don't see too much. Alright, this is plugged in. And the arms are also going to be plugged in. Oops. And like so. Uh, you need to move these up or down. I, don't, I think it's up like this. And you need to plug those in to the square right here. Like so. Same thing on the other side. And now you need to push everything in. Maybe it's uh, up, up. So move these up and plug in the back. It's really hard to see, but you need to align the square in the holes and push it in. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. I think I'm in. So this goes like this. <laughs> Front face like this. Now come back with the chest shield and plug it in right here. And it tabs in really nice. And then you close the head down. Next up, spread the legs. Come to the crotch plate and take the new crotch plate. Open it up like this. And there's a uh, tiny hole right here this is gonna plug into the skirt right here and there's a tab right here that's gonna plug inside of the new crotch plate that we've just uh, tapped in earlier like right here so plug it in it's really freaking tight I like when stuff are tight like this it's gonna be solid all right this is done the chest right here doesn't want to all right now move the legs a little bit like this or like this well you, you can see there's two tabs on the thighs right here these are going to plug inside of these so you need to move this all the way in like this and adjust the tab Oop. like this so one two three one two three like this and this should align perfectly so, uh, line. Ah, man, it's really freaking tight. Yeah, this one. All right, this one is in. This one moved. All right, both of it. Both are in. Like this. So the legs are like this. Now you can move the legs a little bit closer like this. And yeah. So now we have pretty much the torso almost done. What you want to come back here is take this, the hand, and I just went under the camera. All right. Take the fist right here and plug it in like this. And yeah, you can close this if you want to. Same thing here, 
take the fist on the open thumb, plug it in, like this. All right, so now you got pockets like this. So yeah, pretty much all done for him. All we have to do now is combine. Now yeah, I've seen a lot of transformation where the legs are like this. Oops, I just popped it out. Put it back in. Yeah, so I've got front legs like this. I've seen them spread like this or whatever. Just gonna do the official one like this. I've seen other ones like completely a reverse with the tail facing. Yeah, not my thing. This one looks nice to me. So, yeah. Now all we have to do is combine. So let's adjust the camera so that it goes a little bit up. This this is a big figure. All right. So let's do the feet. One. Oops, this one this big is off. Two. Oop, and one feet just separated. Oh, we got two. One. Spread. And the leg just doesn't want to stay in. Come on. Megan. Alright. Two legs. Stay. <laughs> it does stay. The focus really dark let's move the camera just a little bit more so you can see all right i'm gonna get up move to the arms now so again for the arms just slide it in with the new pegs with the new uh connectors slide it in and voila now we have full canicus in combined mode with all of the add-on apply to it so focus and yeah it looks really damn nice kind of hard to see with all my figurines in the background but he is a really nice fella now we've got a sword and a sword can be pegged in there's a connector in the uh, the hand so you can just slide the sword in it's really freaking tight but it does Yoink. And yeah, he does hold it. So it's really freaking cool. Uh, can move the arms so you can see the sword. <laughs> but yeah, really freaking nice. Uh, Volcanicus mode. He looks so much better than the uh, original one. Uh, I don't know if we can show it off more, but we can see the backpack here. And now he doesn't want a hole, but yeah, the backpack kind of looks nice, nice details. So yeah, uh, if you want to, you can remove the hands pockets thing on each side of his uh, thighs. It doesn't bring too much, but yeah, instruction says to put it there. So yeah, and just maybe a closer look focus yeah, he does look really freaking nice i love the chest plate and i forgot the uh headmaster in his crotch piece <laughs> yeah legs the sword everything just looks so damn nice yeah so I don't, know, I don't have any much else to say about it it's a really freaking nice set uh i wish there was some golden on the knuckles I wish the feet would stand, uh, would clip in better, like a locking mechanism. But otherwise, freaking cool figure. Really nice. Uh, the hands, nice. Uh, I would have loved uh, some claws, maybe. The backpack is great. It holds the arms. The new legs are awesome. Dinobot mode looks great. All the weapons are amazing. Amazing. The huge sword is really freaking cool looking, and. <laughs> The fact that he still holds it in the hand is pretty nice and yeah there, there's nothing else to say he's just really freaking cool really amazing figure so yeah i uh, highly recommend this set this is the perfect effect pc 21 and 23 upgrade kit for volcanicus and it looks really freaking cool so yeah articulation is pretty much the same i don't have to show it off uh, i think it's just the same ones the same uh 
arms and legs it just goes with the combiners so yeah uh highly recommend this set it's really amazing go and pick those both up i think they're like uh 40 dollars each 30 dollars each not that bad and it really get, brings something to volcanic because now i get now i do it now it does feel like volcanic is, is a complete figure a real complete figure so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time